purpose of this meeting is to get input. We want to find out what your feelings are about the Imperial thing. I know I've received an email, I've received phone calls, and I get very answers as to what it's going to take to make people happy. I don't know the magic number on the street. I'm not in favor of the numbers that have been thrown about. But by not knowing the magic number, uh, especially from the response I get from a lot of folks, the magic number is zero. Yeah. Yeah. So this meeting is not a political rally, a campaign kickoff or anything. This is an informational meeting. And this is a meeting for you, the residents, that are most of And so I would ask you to please, if you've got any comments, limit them to a couple of minutes so that everyone will have a chance to see them. Uh, the Johnson Development people, Shay Shay people, will not be here tonight. Uh, fact of the matter is I asked him, I told him that we did not need them to make another presentation. We've all seen several presentations that we've made, and now we just need to talk about this and, and get some input. And I guess maybe, you know, we, we could, I guess, start it off real easily. Let's have a show of hands of everybody that doesn't want any apartment. <laughs> Can you you got to count? <laughs> no, I'm going to count the others. It's going to be easier. Okay. And so if we have no apartments, I don't know what the what the plan would be without any apartments. I don't know if it would go forward or not. I know that originally... Can you turn off your sound? Yeah. I hope so. Can you hear in the back? Okay, like I say, you know, the original plan was Cherokee and Southern Land Company. They had uh, charrettes or something. They showed all these pretty pictures, and everybody really loved what they were going to do. And they were talking, I think, 459 apart. At the time that they presented that, there was not a, not any dissent at all that I know of. And uh, I think as somebody stated that after they made their charrettes, they were applauding. But whatever, for whatever the reason, Southern Land Company pulled out because I don't know if it was the economy or, or what caused it, but they felt they couldn't make a go of it. And then Johnson Development came in. And so they're working to try to make something viable up here. The north side of Sugar Land has historically been left out of economic development. We're kind of the forgotten people up here. So they, they're trying to do something. And like I say, I don't know the magic. I don't know what it's going to take for their pro their project to be successful. And I just the big thing is I want to represent folks up here. I want to voice your opinion. I have no problems when this thing finally reaches the the stage of voting on it if my district says no, I will be happy to stand up and vote no, whether I'm the only vote that says no or not. But that's my job, is to represent you, the people. Now, uh, we've got a lot of things that 
to enter into this, we have traffic, we have congestion, we have uh, it, <coughs> impact on schools. These apartments, I keep being told that they are very high quality apartments. They're not the starter level apartments. Uh, they talk, you know, 12, $1,200, dollars to $2,000 a month, and the, the people that would rent those are the ones that, you know, quite frankly, they have to have a pretty good job to pay that kind of rent. So, now, at this time, I'll open it at the floor up for comments, and like I say, please limit your comments. Take a couple of minutes and let everybody have a chance. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Yes, sir. My comment is that regardless of the amount of money they'll be asking to rent these apartments, they will be rented for what the market will bear. And that's six hundred dollars. That's what the we can't we can't fit we can't set the market. Does that question go to you? Yes, ma'am. Let's start with a little organization first. Because you started right away with how many people want apartments or don't want apartments. And you talked about um, the, the program at the beginning, Southern Land, and how everybody went along with it. Let's get back up. This wasn't just Southern Land coming in and saying, here we have this great program. It started six, eight years ago with a group right out of this group, about 30, 40 people who went to meeting after meeting after meeting to come to those conclusions and work very hard to get to that point. So it just didn't just develop by developers. It was us, the people in this side. And although you talk about our side, the north side, not being part of economic development, maybe so, but I'll tell you what we are part of. Civic pride. When we have town hall meetings, we're the ones that come, District 1. And you can see from here, there's a lot of power in this room. So don't discount us just because we're on this side of the freeway or this side of 90. And I know some are Venetians, so you're on the other side of 90. We're a very powerful lot. Now, I'm glad you finally brought up that it's much more than just apartments. It is the infrastructure. It, at that first meeting, and unfortunately you were there at the beginning at Fleur, but you left. Uh, one of the things brought up was drainage. One of the things brought up was they're having structured parking. That means a six-story garage just down the block from you. Another thing that was brought up was roads and the fact that we, we pride ourselves on the hill and yet we're going to have more traffic or, as someone said, yeah. what are we going to knock down the old homes that made us what we are to enlarge the roads? We hear about a baseball field. Many, I, I admit, I didn't vote for the baseball, but I know many of you did. That's okay. But the point is, whether you voted for it or not, whether you like it or not, the plan was to build it over by a university with lots of roads and access. So the voters, I was in the minority. The voters voted yes, build it, but they said with the understanding that it was there. Now it's over here. So the voters haven't been consulted about moving it. The city did decided on that. So it's not just apartments. I lived in an apartment for most of my life. And it's not apartments per se. It's the whole structure. It's the whole issue. And I really find it hard to believe that the people who are developing this, who <coughs> care about us, cancel out and are not even here. What does that say about what they're going to do in the future if they're not ever even here to hear the things we have to say? So. And one last thing, one last thing. I'm, I'm glad they pointed out about the supply and demand of what those apartments would rent for. I can tell you what they'll rent for if nobody rents them. If you have low occupancy, and I asked at the last meeting in floor, what is the occupancy level of all these upscale places, both in Town Square, and the developers pointed out to the ones over on Beltway 8, off of Highway I-10, 
I would love to know the occupancy rate, because you can ask whatever. If nobody's renting them, they'll sit empty. So it's a big issue, and we really do care on this in this develop this area, District One. Thank you. So it's going to get developed. I don't want us to lose by complaining and bringing up unheard of stuff and lose that developer. They are good, their plans were good. No, I don't want that many apartments. But as you drive down 90 and go into Richmond, if it's developed, just free, you know, people buy an acre and put something on it, it's a mess. We've got when you should organize the development. Don't fall for we're going to lose the developer. Very, I was in apartment development for 20 years. I worked for the biggest developers in Houston. They would line up at the door to get in here. Don't be, fall for that. That Johnson is the only savior out there because there are many companies that would be thrilled to have this opportunity. But we don't want to rush into something that's not going to be good for the community. And I'll tell you, having a road out to Bernie is the absolute worst thing that's going to happen in all of this. <laughs>